Welcome to Math Challengers Math Tricks. Percentage Problems. Finding the Selling Price, Cost and Profit or Loss. Due to its dynamic and diversified nature, this topic is one of the most popular topics in math competitions. But this is one of the least mastered skills of most contestants. Because these problems are quite tricky. In this video we have covered the basic definitions, formulas, solved examples and wrap it up with some practice exercises. Selling price. It is the price at which a product is sold. Cost. It is the amount spent for a product or service being sold. Profit or gain. If the selling price is more than the cost, the difference between them is the profit. Loss. If the selling price is less than the cost, the difference between them is the loss incurred. Problem number 1. The selling price of a shirt is 800 pesos. If it is sold at 480 pesos the profit is 20%. How much should it be sold to have a profit of 75%? Why don't you give it a try before watching the complete solution? Share how you did it by writing a comment below. To efficiently answer the problem, fill the following table. Analyze the problem. If it is sold at 480 pesos, the profit is 20%. Take note that the cost is always 100%. So if the cost is 100% and there is a profit of 20%, then the selling price is 120%. Using the table we can now solve the problem by first finding the cost of the shirt. The cost price can be computed by dividing the selling price by the sum of 100% and the profit rate. 480 divided by 120% or 480 divided by 1.2. The cost price of the shirt with 20% profit is 400 pesos. The new selling price with 75% profit can be computed by multiplying the cost by the sum of 100% and the intended profit rate. 400 times the sum of 100% and 75%. 400 times 1.75 is 700. The shirt should be sold for 700 pesos to earn a profit of 75%. We can also solve the problem by dividing the old selling price by its old rate which is 120% to get the cost of the product then multiply it by its new rate of 175% to get the new selling price. So we have 480 divided by 120% times 175%. For easy calculation, change the percent to fraction form. We now have 480 divided by 6 fifths times 7 fourths. To divide fractions take the reciprocal invert the fraction of the divisor and multiply the dividend. 480 times 5 sixths times 7 fourths. Using cancellation method, we can now divide 480 and 6 by their greatest common factor. 480 divided by 6 is 80. 6 divided by 6 equals 1. We can also divide 80 and 4 by their GCF. 80 divided by 4 is 20 and 4 divided by 4 is 1. We simplify the equation with 20 times 5 times 7. The answer is 700. Problem number 2. The product is marked at 20% above the cost price. It is then sold at 90% of the selling price. The profit is 150 pesos. What is the cost of the product? Based on the problem, the product is marked at 20% above the cost price. The profit rate is 20%. It means the cost is 100% and the selling price is 120% of the cost. It is then sold at 90% of the selling price. 
This means 90% of the original selling price which is 120% of the cost. So the new selling price is 90% of 120% which is 108%. Cost is 100%. The profit is 8%. To find the cost of the product. Divide the amount of profit by the profit rate. 150 divided by 0 0.08. The cost is 1875. Answer. The cost of the product is 1875 pesos. Problem number 3. The marked price of a TV set is 48,000 pesos. It is 20% above its cost price. It was later sold at 75% of its selling price. What is the amount of loss? Analyzing the problem, we know that the marked price of a TV set is 48,000 pesos. It is 20% above its cost price, so the profit is 20%. The cost is 100%. And the selling price is 120%. To solve this problem we need to know first the cost of the TV set. Cost price is selling price divided by the sum of 100% plus the profit rate. 48,000 divided by 1.2. The cost of the TV set is 40,000. Later, it was sold at 75% of its selling price. The new selling price is 75% of the original selling price, so it became 75% of 120%, that is 90% of the cost. Knowing that the cost is always 100%, and the amount is still 40,000 pesos. We can now have the rate of loss. 90% minus 100% we have a loss of 10%. Now, to compute for the loss, multiply the rate of loss by the cost of the TV set. 40,000 times 10% is 4,000. The amount of loss is 4,000 pesos. The selling price of a dress is 1,200 pesos, it is later sold for 840 pesos with a profit 40%. What is the profit rate, if the profit is 600 pesos? To be able to answer what the profit rate is, we need to identify first the cost of the dress. Cost is equal to the selling price divided by the sum of 100% plus the profit rate. 840 divided by the sum of 100% plus 40%. 840 divided 1.4. The cost of the dress is 600 pesos. Knowing the cost of the dress, we can now compute for the profit rate. Profit rate is equal to the amount of intended profit divided by the cost. That is 600 divided by 600. That equals to 1. Change it to percent. That becomes 100%. So the answer is, the profit rate of the dress is 100% if the amount of profit is 600 pesos. Question number 1. A product was marked at 50% above the cost price. It was eventually sold at 65% of the selling price. The loss was 25 pesos. What was the cost price of the product?
Question number 2. If apples were bought for 12 each and sold them for 15 pesos each, what is the profit rate? Question number 3. By selling a bag for 600 pesos, a seller losses 25%. At what price can he sell the bag to make a profit of 40%? Please don't forget to like this video and subscribe.